Wow, thanks for inviting us to your basement food party, Nick. Oh, you're welcome. I would pretty much do a lot for you guys. Wow, man. Your basement seems pretty comfortable and looks so different from the other basements. Why, thank you, Lucas. No wonder why you are lucky enough to live in this house. It looks so perfect that even my house has only an attic. Well, my house also has a basement too, however it's filled with load of stuff, and sometimes it's never cleaned. Wait, what, Nick? You're having a party, while our parents are away, what is going on with you? Oh, so do you think that's a problem? Yes, it is a problem. You are basically drinking alcohol and wine, and you also invited your friends without mom and dad's permission. Get out. Out before I throw an alcohol bottle at you. Fine. I'm warning you that you're gonna get punished soon. Man, this guy really gets on your nerves. But hey, look on the bright side. I at least found a way to calm ourselves down and also deal with some of our problems. We can take a smoke. That sound like a great idea, but where can you buy them though? I know a store that sells all kinds of drugs. After I buy them, you can meet me at the park. Um, where's Nick? I thought he was supposed to be here like he said. Don't worry, he'll come. He's buying them right now. You got the smokes. Yes, I did. Now, let's smoke. Oh. My. God. Four children taking drugs in the park. I need to call the cops. Holy crap, you caught us smoking. Um, guys. I think this is the right time to run for our lives. I know. Hey. Get back here, you naughty kids. You're going to be in deep trouble when I call the police on you for. I'm still calling the police anyways, so they won't get away. Hello, is this the police? Yes, this is the police. May we help you? I would like to report that I saw four minors smoking cigarettes in the park that I'm in now. Please send in some officers to arrest them. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh man. We are going to be in so much trouble when the police finds us. I don't want to get locked up in jail. Me neither. If I go to jail, then my parents will be so angry at me for taking drugs. I haven't even tried any drugs before, but this is my first time. Oh crap, this is going to suck. Oh please, you're the one who got us into this mess. We should have smoked somewhere else, but you made an idiotic decision by doing it at the park. Well, the park is a place where we could all calm down for a while. Somewhere else would be a waste of time. Stop making up excuses. You're just trying to defend yourself by saying stupid things that will get us into even more trouble. I don't even trust you at all either. So you want to fight me? Come on, fight me like a man. I like to see you try and fight me, you stupid knuckle-headed fool. Silence. We don't have much time before the police come and arrest us. Let's just go already. Oh crap, the police are here. The four of you kids stop right there. You are under arrest for possession of cigarettes, smoking them at a park. But before then which one of you kids bought the pack of smokes? It was me. I'm the one who bought the pack of cigarettes at a drugstore not so far from the park we smoked as. I used my dad's money to buy it without any permission. Very well. Since you guys are young, I won't take you to jail, but I will take you all to your parents to tell them about what you did. I will be taking you kids to the police station so I can call your parents for smoking. Lucas, 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 Lucas. Get the hell over here right now, 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 now. We are super duper furious with you. Oh, 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 oh. Lucas Phillips, how freaking dare you go to a party without our consent and went to the park to smoke cigarettes? You know that smoking can affect your health, and it can also damage your lungs. That's it. You're grounded for one month. Go to your room right now. Jacob, 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 
You smoked a cigarette? I cannot believe you did that. What is wrong with you? You are very deep trouble, mister. Jacob, we cannot believe that we're smoking cigarettes at the park. You could have gotten sick or even died because smoking those things could have gotten you sick. You are punished until you can stop the habit of taking any other drug out there. Go to your room right now. Oh, 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 Nicholas, why the hell would you throw a party when we said no, stole my money to buy cigarettes, and smoked them? You know drugs can that could lead to your lungs getting damaged, that's it. You know, what is going to happen next, do you? Nick, this is the worst thing you have done in the park. Nicholas, you, are, so, grounded for six, whole, months, and for using my money to buy cigarettes, you will be receiving the biggest punishment of your life, you will send to Victoria, British Columbia, Canada for the whole time you're e-grounded. Oh no. I don't want to go to Canada, please don't send me there. I want to stay here, and learn my lesson. That's just too bad, you should have thought about that before using your father's money to buy drugs. This essay to teach you a strong, strict lesson. Let's pack your bags for Canada. Danny, for smoking cigars, leaving the house without permission, and probably also drinking alcohol at the party, you will be grounded for three weeks. Go to your room now.